Orlando. Janssen skitters to Pereira. That's beautifully done by Janssen. And now Urso ahead to Daryl DK. Taking on Miller. Miller bowls him over. Play advantage. Mueller. Go! Outstanding full field goal for Orlando City from Juan. And in the end, it's Chris Mueller closing that run in the backside. Calm, collected, and composed with an inside of the foot finish. Is make yourself as big as possible. Corner comes in, it's a goal. No stopping that one. And it's Rudy Camacho who ties the game. Montreal has completely flipped this on its head. It's a fantastic delivery that Rodrigo Schlegel is a little bit pragmatic in his approach. Take a look. He doesn't go and attack the ball, but rather Rudy Camacho. Caicedo, the second half introduction on the substitutes bench. Wessel stepping up. Scundridge, something on here. Wessel's cutting to his right. Scundridge right down the middle. Scundridge is able to get it to Camaro. Oh, the post. Roberto, it's in the net. Oh, it's in the net. It is in the net. A goal, DC United. There it is. There it is. The breakthrough moment. Wasn't easy, but DC got it. Right foot ends up bit. It's bouncing off the post. And then it's Nigel Roberto once again. Just following up the play, the composure needed to hit the back of the net. Lovely counter. It. Lucille. Magic man. Speaking of magic. Gustavo Bow. McDamere curling it in. Books on the header. And we are tied. Adam Books on the header. And New England is even the score. Oh, and they are ruthless. The three, the two DPs combined. And then it's McNamara just chipping a little ball in. Gustavo Bow. On this heel. 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 Oh, heel! Carlos heel! What a strike! And has given New England the lead, 2-1. to one. The assist man can score. What a goal. Well, it's a class goal from Carlos Heel. Ultimately hitting the back of the net twice, and this is just brilliant from Carlos Hill. Picks the ball up, makes Joseph Mora go to ground, makes three other players. And prevent shots from hitting target. McNamara. Books are getting in position, trying to make a turn. And now Gustavo Bow! Gustavo Bow! He surprises and scores, and New England has a two goal lead. When Books had possession of the box, doesn't have enough pressure on him inside the box. Just rides off the initial challenge from Pines. Realizes where Bo is. Clever little flick there. And Perez to Roberta. Now Paredes. Paredes now setting it up. Oh, wow! Oh, wow! It's in the net! It's in the net! Ramon Avila pulling kisses to the ground. And the game is back on. Matt Turner, who's been brilliant tonight, made some big saves. Gets his right hand on it, but it's not a strong enough palm to keep it out of the back of the net, given the pace of the ball. Maxi Morales. Jesus Medina, there's a steal. This is Araujo to Moreno. Score! And Mike, it's both players that we talked about needed to have a significant impact in this game. Araujo into Moreno. And it actually starts with him trying to play a hopeful ball in behind. This might be New York City's best opportunity remaining tonight. Maxi Morales. Demunder Torrenson. Torrenson scores! What a hit for Torrenson to equalize in the 90th minute. Incredible. As soon as the foul was committed, you knew this is a dangerous, dangerous area. 25 yards out. You bring on a left-footed player like Torrenson who has the quality. And look at the technique. Over to Navarro. Back to the left side of Madron. Working his way towards the 18. Looking for a pass. Comes out. Titan makes the save. Barrage is there on the follow. After Pineda's shot was saved. Barrage puts Chicago on top. 
in the first quarter of an hour. Yeah, and Barrich finds himself with time and space in the right position as it comes off to see it from Titan, but again, you can just see how much freedom he had. Herbers into the box, off to the foot of Alisada. Titan spills the ball off his hand, couldn't get it. Barrich taps it in, and an early brace for Robert Barrich, a dream start for the fire. Barrich can anticipate where this is going to go, gets in behind Zico Billy. And a disastrous start now for FC Cincinnati in his first time. Tonight, we appreciate you joining us here for a few moments through the first half and will allow you to share some of your thoughts 16 days on the job now as Monterita finds Zico Bailey back and over to the near post tapped in by Acosta the flag stay down and Cincinnati draws one back with the GM in the booth FC Cincinnati again, it's a nice little chip ball. Zico Billy plays it across fantastically as far as the weight. And Acosta does what he needs to. He follows in at the back post. But what's one thing you want the supporters and the great fans of this club to know about you and, and your vision for this club? Well, uh, you know, to be honest, I, I... Here's a chance, Brandon Vasquez, a shot and a goal! Visions to do more of this. So. <laughs> I said yeah. we're letting you go. Uh -huh. You're not going he, anywhere. You gotta stay. You gotta stay now. Well, again, it's this intended target. Brandon Vasquez has been so active and finds the space behind the center back. Just looking between Acosta and George Allen. That well, there is that little gap as well. Madron, the native of Spain, steps to the ball, strikes it with his right foot, and puts it in the top shelf out of the reach of Shemichwab Titan. Chicago back on top, 3 2. Madron does everything right, gets the dip on it, gets the band on it. Titan comes across, you can see, just gets a save. Makocho. And Scott resets over to Monterita. Mata into the 18. Cameron swipes at it. Blockett finds the equalizer. Tyler Blockett opens his MLS account. And in stoppage time, we're even. Well, it's a fantastic moment, and these fans deserve this. FC Cincinnati have been in this position time and time again, but this time they deliver to get back into this game. The character has to show up right now from these FC Cincinnati players to get this result. They've shown great character balling back into the game. Trail twice, came from behind, twice in Chicago! A rocket off the foot of Luka Stojanovic retakes the lead! What a response by the fire! In the right position, but look at the technique and the dip. Titon doesn't see it till late. You can see with the flight of the ball. Quality footballer. Covered him in many internationals for his Venezuela team. Come in with a big money around him. It's a good signing for Toronto, but not this oh, game. Oh, back by Federico Higuain! And out of nothing, Miami have the opener. An absolute gift from the footballing gods for Phil Neville. Smooth as a Zamboni with the finish, but what an absolute calamity from Alex Bono. Alex Bono, sloppy as a soup sandwich with his distribution. Again, they look to drop it short. Oh, it falls for the second time. Miami put the ball in the back of the net. And it's El Dinosaurio again. Christian McCoon doubles the lead for Inter Miami. He loves playing against Toronto. Mr. Christian, Mr. Christian, the Venezuela lad who just got his international call up. Neville didn't like losing him for a game, but confidence bakes into him.
by getting the international call. And then he go in, swinger near post this time! And Miami have their third! Lewis Morgan, so often the man to deliver, this time punches it in! On the stroke of the hour mark, it's Miami 3, Toronto 0. It terminates with extreme prejudice and extreme prettiness on Dozy. He gets a flick on, but does it come off? Twisting and turning and unable to find a way through this time. Reynoso. He gets thwarted on the first time, but then look at the defense and the picking off again, forcing the turnover, and then the quick play on the one-two, a nice little through ball in the run behind. And well dealt with by Homa Mitanier. The Philadelphia back in possession quickly. Wagner's ball in, Montero was awaiting it, and lashed towards goal, it's a glorious equaliser! What a finish from Daniel Gerstock! Instant Philadelphia Union response. They are where they are for a reason. Watch this. Off the thigh, a nice little touch. He chops it so it's rolling flat on the turf. And a beauty of a finish. So Montero's ball in. Bedoya flicks on. Another save by Miller. But it's turned in right on the line by Philadelphia Union. And Daniel Garsdag again. Two goals for the Hungarian. And here's a set piece, and look at the ball curling out, and what a header by Alejandro Bedoya. He gets down. Wonderful marshalling from the Venezuelan on the ball now for Philadelphia. Miss Q. It's Reynoso. And then Lutz! Back with a bang! Lifeline for Minnesota United! First of all, how about the defensive pressure by Minnesota United? It starts with Emmanuel Reynoso forcing the turnover and then the pocket picked by his own with a terrible back pass. Reynoso at the epicenter of it. Miscue. with him on the right side. The Tomasi combination play with O'Brien. Tomasi is in, trying to find a sliver of space to roll it across the face of goal. Now a chance for Ferreira. Leon sets up the goal for FC Dallas right Hollings head. It's an early one tonight for the home team. First game out of the break, and it's a quick goal for FC Dallas, thanks to Hollings head, among others. Challenge gets the ball back. A little, uh, little lucky there and that that ball falls right in pass it's Christian Arango who has a look at this one as LAFC tries to level in the first half looking for his ninth goal of the year Arango a slow run up and a pulled save but it goes in Felipe got a hand to it it just wasn't quite strong enough it is a goal for LAFC to tie the game at 1-1 do that little stutter step and walk up I, I just always wonder if the goalkeeper just holds his position by the way, not only does LAFC have a, a game to play against Vancouver, who they have to leapfrog, I said a moment ago, they've got to catch Minnesota, and they could take a big step in that direction come Saturday night. They're going to be playing away at Minnesota Saturday, but they got to deal with FC Dallas right now, who's regained the lead. Lombriot slips it to Frank O'Hara, and FC Dallas in this back-and-forth first half have retaken the advantage on the goal by Hara. Frank O'Hara got a little unlucky earlier. But this time he gets a really nice ball there from Hader Obrian. Obrian's been a problem so far. Not quite as much since they since LAFC shifted formations, but tonight he's having a really good match. And he certainly played the right ball there to Frank O'Hara. I mentioned a minute ago, he played the right ball to O'Hara. 
just uh, Mamadou Fall got in the way. Well, this time he got around Fall. One of the few times he's gotten around Fall. However, it was the first time since 2012 that England dropped points in a World Cup qualifier at Wembley. It had been 12 straight World Cup qualifiers at Wembley where they had taken all three points as Arango has scored. Musovsky sets up Christian Arango, and for the second time tonight, FC Dallas has conceded a goal to Arango that's erased a lead. He has leveled this match at 2-2. Danny Musovsky, who came on here in the second half, sets it up. And Arango has 10 goals now in 13 games since joining L Ball lifted in and flies over Musovsky. The takedown by Latif Blessing. Out into space for Mamadou Fall. Fall smashes it right across the face of goal. It will settle in the box, and it's two quick goals for LAFC. The lead has been restored for LAFC. As a matter of fact, their first lead of the game, and this is a hat trick for Christian Arango. Goal that way, three yards out. I mean, somebody's got to deal with that. Whether it's Felipe there or, or Matt Hedges, who's sort of moving back toward. Oh, it's a good dummy from Zellerin, and here is Berry on the run and up against Walker Zimmerman with runners. One of them being Pedro Santos. Outside him is Lucas Zellerin to shoot and to score for the Columbus Crew in Music City. His first goal since August. Zellerian goes far post and puts it right through the legs of Romney. Just tucks it in. It is crucial for them to try and catch up. Loba with a layoff for Rios. And here's Hani Mukhtar. Instant equaliser for the boys in gold. And it's Hani Mukhtar who does it. Right across. The outstretched legs of Jonathan Mensa, much like the other end, where Zellerion fired it through the legs of Romney. One thing you can't do is take a penalty kick and be indecisive. You've got to step up and know which way you're going. It's a 306th appearance tonight for Sasha Kleschuk. Off the penalty against Nelson, he scores. The LA Galaxy will go up 1-0 here in the 39th minute. It's a veteran who's ice cold from the penalty spot. And the Galaxy celebrate knowing what this goal could mean to them in the playoff picture. So calm under pressure, Sasha Klustian. Rajo has been very good at picking off little passes like that that would have set Papa Pico free a couple times this evening. Chicharito. Well, he lays it on. Alvarez squares it back off to flex it. Who did it come off? I think it came off. Valentin. Of Zarek Valentin. The Dynamo were trying to claim offside. This is a huge goal for the LA Galaxy, no matter how it goes in. This is where the inexperience of Zarek Valentin comes in, because you've got to just follow uh, Efrain Alvarez. If you follow him here, maybe he doesn't get the chance to get turned and even get the cross off. And with LA being a good possession team, holding a two goal lead, this is a real challenge here for the Dynamo. Here's Chicharito, he's got the run of Cabral. He's picked out Cabral, who's trying to get back on his right foot. He eliminates the defender and scores. Well, that is a dagger to the heart here from Kevin Cabral. It is Chicharito who picks him out. Don't guess, stay where you are, but take nothing away from the LA Galaxy and just the composure here from Kevin Cabral. Ball in from Price. There's the header! Baji! Well, we talked about how dangerous Colorado is. And you can see this. Jack Price puts it just where he needs to put it. And Betashore getting ready to come into the game. Some veterans on the approach for Colorado. Seattle trying to get this thing back level. Out in front, and they do so. Well, and Leo Chu does a nice job. Look at him hold off. Look at him hold off. He finally gets down the line. He cuts this ball back, and he finds rolled up. Mora. Blanco. 
Looking for Mora. Knocked down. Paredes. Jimmy Chara. You can feel it coming. 15 minutes in. Timbers open the scoring. It's 1 0. Making it difficult for the White Caps to get a hold of him. And this from Paredes. The ball just wouldn't sit down quick enough. Very smart clip. Mice in his left toe for the last couple of days. Just saying it was a bit of a scuff off the floor. I think he might have gone for another one there. <laughs> Lots of giveaway from Vancouver. Paredes. Jimmy Chara. Tried to get it to Mora. Went in with a spree. Oh! Maybe not how they drew it up. But there is the second for Portland. 2-0 just before halftime. Playing well in this game to deserve that what luck falls to Aspria. What a fantastic finish. He doesn't go low, he just lifts it above the keeper as he knows he's going down. 2-0 Portland Timbers. He got him in a trade with New York on June 2nd, and he has had quite the season for Vancouver. Here's Caicedo all the way up the gut. Caicedo scores! Nobody stopped him, and Daber Caicedo pulls one back for Vancouver. It's 2-1. If he just tracked the run of White, watch how he takes Zuperich away. There, Casado's running this. Fashiva trying to catch up, not Viala, but it's White's movement that takes Zuperich away. Oh, Mabiala let it run on. White leaving. Caicedo. Bruno Gaspar just a little too far, far for him. He keeps it in play. It's Brian White who heads it in. The most informed striker in Major League Soccer, Brian White, has leveled the match. It's 2-2. Two two. And White, he doesn't give up on it. He comes back. Coming away from goal, that's not easy. To be able to generate enough power on that ball when we look at the Subaru goal camp. So he needs a bit of direction. He gets Clark to go the wrong way. And the Whitecaps have turned a 2-0 deficit at the half into a 3-2 lead. And they are threatening to take all three points tonight. Gutierrez saying this keeps switched on and as Dahomey comes up, it's a quick run up. It's the Timbers leading Vancouver 2-1. In fact, that Portland-Vancouver match and this one here tonight at PayPal, the only two matches still in progress on a Wednesday night. Take it away. This is Kikanovic moving in on Stuber. That's in front to Obosi. Trophies! Yes! Goal, San Jose! That actually helped steer that in the direction of Trophies. Yeah, he would have been a penalty, but the referee played the advantage and he rolled to Trophies. And Eric Rometty. Now it's a Bobasi on the run. Can he get there first? Yes, he can. This is Kukanovic moving in and scoring. Goal, San Jose. And immediately to the air, Isbeard Pekvic. It would be Kukanovic's third goal of the season. The right foot of Kakanovic. This is Espinoza just into the game. He's got a Bobasi and Kakanovic trying to chip it ahead, but it drops to Wando. And there it is. Goal, San Jose. 1 6 9 in his career. Players were involved in this play. Certainly, Espinoza was. Been creating the opportunity from the right hand side. To the corner flag for the 10th time tonight, here in the 85th minute. Headed down, Carlos Fierro! Goal, San Jose! You think he has something to celebrate? It's 4-0 Earthquakes. Wonderful service coming in by Christian Espinosa. You have to stay the marking by the central defender, the big defender.